Hey everyone, so in this video today, I'm going to show you how to reset the service light there on your Audi. So when you turn off the ignition, it comes up with service due. And when you turn it on, spanner symbol comes up there and it just tells you service is due. So this will work on most of the Audis pre-2010. So we're using VCDS, which is plugged into the OBD2 port. So opening up VCDS. You want the ignition on, as I just showed you. Go select, go to instruments, go to adaptation, select the channel, mileage since service, and as you can see, it's a zero. You might have a stored value here and a new value here. So, as you can see, the over here one increment equals 100 kilometers so you just zero that in when you're done with that then you go done and go back go to adaptation again so you scroll through the menu and you look for date since inspection and time since inspection So time since inspection is over here 380 days over there so you want to zero that in then we'll test the value once it's accepted then you hit save done and go back adaptation and now finally we we'll look for distance since inspection so there we go Distance since inspection, click that. That's already been zeroed because we had done that in the SRI reset. So if you just follow the time since inspection, that's the same way of doing it. Done, go back. Close controller, go back. And you can go out of this. If this is the first time you're doing this, I would recommend auto scanning and um, scanning the vehicle for any codes before doing any of this. When you're done there, then you can just turn off the ignition. And they're turning it on again the spanner symbol is gone and the service light is gone so that's how you reset your service light if you can't do it just through the standard SRI, SRI on service indicator service reminder if you can't just do it through the service reminder reset interval some of the older Audis you can't you have to just follow the procedure that I just showed you because sometimes you have the long life service and um, that's the reason why you need to change that in there thanks for watching everyone See ya. So we're on a 2009 Audi TT RS, and I'll just show you how to scan the vehicle using VCDS, just in case anyone didn't know how to do this. So with the ignition on at the moment, as you can see. So what you want to do is open up your VCDS, hit auto scan. This is a CAN bus vehicle, so that's fine. You can leave it in CAN only, and just hit start. Now it'll go through each of the modules and it will scan each of them for any fault codes. So we'll let that run and we'll come back to it. It normally takes a few minutes to go through and you will notice the lights coming up on the instrument cluster and a few different things even at the stereo. It'll reset and change a few things there but don't be concerned, that's normal. That's it, and so it comes up with the status. But apart from that, as you can see here, there's no other issues load. So all the modules have come back okay. So that's what you want to see. So I hope this video was of some help to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya. Once you're done scanning the vehicle, close, hit done, 
close and exit out of VCDS and then we can just turn off the ignition. And if you'd like to save the log file, you can. Yeah, that's up to you.